We've been kegging and distributing uh, throughout Chicago for a couple of months now, and that, that's been very successful for us, and we've moved a lot of beer. But along the way, we realized there's you know another demographic out there, not just take-home consumers, but also bars that don't have draft lines. So this is our this is first time bottling beer. We started the day with a non-functioning bottle filler that was in pieces on the floor. We wanted to have it built the night before and have you all relaxed and go into the day normal, but at the end of it, we, uh, we got up on Saturday morning, came in and we, we tried to build the thing. Seven hours later, we, we finally had the bottler finished and we, uh, we got in there and like we got to bottling and got it going. Put out a call to a couple friends for help, um, just to you know get us through the, the day. And the people that helped out, we uh, we had a nice balance of people. Some of them were like you know friends and family, things like that. It was cool to see like the power of like people who just want to do something and like get them to like just do it. Part of it was is we we had to test the bottles, so like we didn't have a choice. We had to fill a bottle and then we had to open it. <laughs> it <was> like <laughs> so we had to do a lot of testing. We had a friend run to the store and pick up a packaging gun for us. We had somebody sanitizing bottles. We had somebody filling the machine. Actually, Matt was running the filling machine. Capping, cleaning off the bottles, and then finally packaging and palletizing the, the product. And we had, you know, it was without the added help, we couldn't have gotten all those stations covered. We got done around like 10 o'clock at night, and we were sitting there and exhausted. So we got up this morning, we got back in here, we bottled off the second batch, which was the stout, and then had to make delivery. West Lakeview Lake, Liquors was awesome. I'd never actually been in there before. It's beautiful. Like they've done such a good job on the layout of the space. And we came in for for a couple hours, poured samples of Crash Landed and the uh, flannel pajamas. And the beer was still cold from the bottler. <laughs> so like it wasn't even like it hadn't even warmed up yet. They were like, yeah, it's, it's like an hour old. Like it's, it was pretty cool. <laughs> Two beers we bottled were our uh, Pale Weedo, which is Crash Landed. Very easy drinking, nice hoppy beer. It, it bodes well for the the big port. The stout, the other beer that we bottled, it has a really big malt aroma. So ironically enough, that same pouring concept comes really well with the maltiness of the beer. It's one of those beers that'll warm you up and it's uh, just nice and cozy, you know, like a good pair of flannel, flannel pajamas. This is the first time I've had the stout. It's really good. I'm pretty impressed consistently with everything I try there. I was always psyched when I would go somewhere and find out that they had the guile on tap, but to actually know that I can buy a bottle of it's pretty great. It was pretty cool to see people walking out with the finished product. There are a lot of individuals out there. They go to their local beer store and they browse the aisles. You know, you stand there, you look around, it's fun. It's a whole new group of people that really want to enjoy craft beer. Yeah.